Thanks to Fiverr for sponsoring this video. The marriage of Isabella I of Castile and Ferdinand II of Aragon brought a significant turning point to the history of what is today Spain. The Catholic monarchs, as they were called, united the crowns of both Castile and Aragon. Although both crowns would remain separate kingdoms until the Nueva Planta decrees, this would lay the foundation of the Spanish composite monarchy under the later Habsburg rule as well as for modern-day Spain we know today. While Isabella and Ferdinand, who were second cousins, belonged to the House of Trastamara, the Spain we know today is ruled by the House of Bourbon Anjou. In modern days, the current King of Spain is nothing more than a symbolic head of state, with no real power to his title. Felipe VI has been King of Spain since his father's abdication in 2014. He and his family today embody the Spanish state. But there are more people in Felipe's family which today lead a more private life, far away from the duties a royal family carries out. Today's video will be a brief history of how Spain became what it is today, as well as a look into the current Spanish royal family, their duties, and most important, their family tree. Now let's get started. The part we today know as Spain once belonged to the Visigothic Kingdom during the 5th to 8th century. The Visigothic Kingdom, or Kingdom of the Goths as it was also named, was a successor state of the Western Roman Empire. The rulers back then came from the House of Jimenez, which is one of the earliest known dynasties to rule over that part of Europe. The members of the house claimed the title Imperador Totius Hispaniae, or in English, Emperor of All Spain. The Jimenez dynasty went extinct around the 12th or 13th century, and soon a new house would rise, the House of Burgundy. But the time for the rulers of the House of Burgundy was cut short when after the Castilian Civil War a new house came to power. This time, it would be the House of Trastamara, an illegitimate branch of the House of Burgundy. It was from the House of Trastamara that the Catholic monarchs Isabella and Ferdinand descended. Isabella brought the crown of Castile into the marriage, while Ferdinand brought the one of Aragon with him. Under their rule, they would conquer the Kingdom of Granada, which is another major point in the history of Spain. The three kingdoms would remain separate states until the 1700s. The crowns of both Castile and Aragon passed to Isabella and Ferdinand's third child, Joanna. Joanna would, like her parents, have one of the most important marriages in modern history. She married Philip the Handsome of the House of Habsburg. Philip's father was Maximilian I, the Holy Roman Emperor. It was with their marriage that the Habsburgs would come to rule over Spain. Philip and Joanna had six children. There was Eleanor, Charles, Isabella, Ferdinand, Mary, and Catherine. When Philip passed away suddenly in 1506, his son Charles was left directly in line to the throne of the Holy Roman Empire, a throne he would eventually inherit in 1519 after the death of his grandfather. Charles's mother, Joanna, was considered insane, to the point of even gaining the byname La Loca, although it is questionable if that nickname really lived up to reality. Nevertheless, Charles became co-ruler of Spain in 1516. Back in 1506, Charles had already inherited what was then the Netherlands as well as the dukedom of Burgundy from his father. With the accession to the throne of the Holy Roman Empire, Charles ruled over more land than anyone before him since Charlemagne. Eventually, Charles made the decision to abdicate all thrones, giving the throne of the Holy Roman Empire to his younger brother and the throne of Spain to his son Philip in 1556. Our story therefore continues through Philip. The Habsburgs, notorious for their inbreeding, would reign for a century and a half. Eventually, it was exactly their inbreeding that would lead to the end of the Habsburg rule in Spain. You see, Charles II, who was the last Spanish king of the House of Habsburg, was the tragic result of a century of nieces and uncles and first cousin marriages. 
The death of Charles sparked the War of Spanish Succession, which ended with the rise of the House of Bourbon in Spain. Except for a brief interruption during the Napoleonic Wars, the House of Bourbon, or Bourbon in Spanish, is still the reigning dynasty. But the history of Spain does not yet just end here. From 1873 to 1874, the First Spanish Republic was declared and Spain, as you might guess, became a republic. However, after a coup d'etat, the monarchy was shortly after restored and before long, the House of Bourbon was back on the throne again. This would remain so until King Alfonso XIII was forced into exile in 1931. What followed was the establishment of the Second Spanish Republic, which ended with the end of the Spanish Civil War in 1939 and, most importantly, the rise of Francisco Franco. Francisco Franco ruled over Spain as dictator through the Second World War up until his death in 1975. After the Second World War, Francisco Franco decided to make Spain a kingdom again, with himself as head of state of the Kingdom of Spain. But please note that Franco was by no means King of Spain. Francisco Franco decided on Juan Carlos as his successor. Juan Carlos was the grandson of the deposed King of Spain, Alfonso XIII. Franco died on November 20th, 1975. Two days later, Juan Carlos was proclaimed King of Spain. He reigned until 2014 when he decided to abdicate the throne in favor of his son after some scandals he had caused. Since then his son Felipe has been on the throne, and it is with Felipe that our video continues. Although mainly Felipe, his wife, and his two daughters represent the monarchy, there are many more members to his family. Felipe is the son of former King Juan Carlos I and his wife Sofia of Greece and Denmark. Felipe himself has two daughters, Leonor, who is the Princess of Asturias and his heir, as well as Infanta Sofia. I had the awesome opportunity to partner up with Fiverr for this video. Fiverr is a platform on which you can find all kinds of freelance services. Searching for someone to design your book cover? need help creating your website, or need a personal assistant, Fiverr has you covered. You will find endless amounts of freelance services with just a few clicks. For this video, I let two extremely talented freelancers design two versions of the Spanish royal family tree. I had this version of the family tree designed by this creator on Fiverr. In addition, I booked another artist whose username you can now see on the screen to create this additional family tree for this video. Still need a present for a family member or are you interested in the genealogy of your family? Click the link in the description box to get your own family tree design on Fiverr. Now let us look at the family tree in detail, starting off with Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos Alfonso Victor Maria de Bourbon y Bourbon dos Sicilias, as his full name was, was born in 1938. He was the eldest son of Infante Juan, the Count of Barcelona, and his wife Princess Maria de la Mercedes Bourbon to Sicilies. Born in Rome, Juan Carlos first returned to Spain in 1948, when his father persuaded Francisco Franco to let his son study there. Later, he attended the Military Academy of Zaragoza, where he ended his training in 1957. As mentioned, Spain back then was under control of Francisco Franco. But with the increasing age of the dictator, strong voices called for a more liberal rule. Ultimately, Franco decided on Juan Carlos as his heir. With this decision, Franco skipped the generation of Juan Carlos' father, who was still alive at that point. In 1975, Juan Carlos ascended as King of Spain. Back in 1962, Juan Carlos married Princess Sofia of Greece and Denmark. Sofia was the daughter of Paul I, King of Greece. Together, the couple had three children, two daughters and one son, which we will cover next. Starting off with their eldest child, Infanta Elena. She was not only the first child to the royal couple, 
Elena was also the first member of her father's family to be born in a hospital. While studying French literature, Elena met her future husband, Jamie, whom she married in 1995. Upon her marriage, her father granted her the title Duchess of Lugo. The marriage resulted in two children. Their firstborn child is Felipe, who is known as Froilan within the family. In his 24 years of age, he already caused quite some media attention surrounding his person. At the age of only 13, he shot himself in his right foot despite Spanish law forbidding the use of firearms by minors under the age of 14. In 2022, police began investigations against Felipe as he was involved in a brawl involving knives outside a nightclub in Madrid. Just a few weeks ago, it was announced that Felipe would move to the United Arab Emirates to his grandfather and work in an oil company. His younger sister, Victoria, was born two years after him. Victoria studied business administration and management and is currently working in the fashion industry. The marriage of Elena and Jamie was divorced in 2009. She currently represents her family at official duties abroad. Elena's younger sister is Infanta Cristina. She was born two years after Elena in 1965. Cristina graduated in 1989 from the Complutense University of Madrid with a degree in political science. In 1990, she additionally received a Master in International Relations. Cristina married team handball player Iñaki Urdangarin in 1997 and had four children with him. First one, followed by Pablo, Miguel and lastly a daughter, Irene. The family lived in the U.S. for a few years, but they moved to Geneva in 2013 following a scandal she and her husband were involved in. Christina and Iñaki were accused of obtaining millions in public funds. At court, Christina stated that she had no knowledge of her and her husband's financial situation and that he took care of that. Following the scandal which Cristina caused, she was stripped of her title as Duchess of Palma de Mallorca. The monarchy's approval rate consequently dropped from 7.5 to 3.68. In 2017, Cristina was acquitted of the charges while her husband received a sentence of imprisonment of over six years, whereby this was later dropped to five years. Just over a year ago, Christina and Iñaki announced their separation. Lastly, we have Elena's and Christina's younger brother and current king of Spain, Felipe. Felipe was born in 1968, while dictator Francisco Franco still held power over Spain. He had his first official engagement at the age of seven when his father was proclaimed king in 1975. Just over two years later, Felipe was created the Prince of Asturias, which is the title usually given to the heir to the Spanish throne. Felipe's education began at the College of Santa Maria de los Rosales. Later he moved to Canada to attend Lakefield College School. He returned to Spain to study law. In addition, Felipe also holds a Master of Science in Foreign Service. As common, Felipe began his military education in September of 1985. Two years later, he began his Air Force training where he learned how to fly an aircraft. In 1992, Felipe was promoted to captain within the Air Force and a year later to lieutenant in the Navy. In 2003, Felipe's engagement to Leticia Ortiz was announced. Their wedding followed on May 22, 2004. Felipe and Leticia have two daughters. The eldest and heir to the throne is Leonor. She was born in 2005. She attended the same school as her father, the College of Santa Maria de los Rosales. Currently, Leonor studies at the United World College of the Atlantic in Wales. Leonor's younger sister is Sofia and was born in 2007 and was named after her paternal grandmother. Sofia attends the same school as her father and sister did before. 
Just shortly, it was announced that Sophia would follow into Leonor's footsteps and begin her studies at the United World College of the Atlantic in Wales. Felipe ascended to the Spanish throne at the stroke of midnight on the 19th of June 2014 after his father signed his abdication documents. Felipe has since then been the King of Spain. His reign was marked by the Catalan independence referendum of 2017 and the COVID-19 pandemic. As of 2020, Felipe has a quite high approval rate from the people of Spain.